I'm going to show you how to make a game with multiple levels. And in this version, the different levels that, that you're going to have in your game can be chosen from a menu. So to get started, all I've got is this green car, named car. And when you press the space bar, he just moves to the right. So it's very simple right now. So uh, the first thing you want to do is make a variable called level. And stick it up here at the top and set it equal to zero. Uh, then we need a few buttons where you can choose to go to different levels. So first let's go pick out a few. I picked these two, um, but it doesn't really matter. You could draw your own or you could pick something else from what's provided. Okay, so we need to turn those into sprites so that they can show up on the screen. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of stuff and then I can scoot it around. So I'm going to name the first one level 1 BTN for button. And I'll name the next one level 2 BTN. And then I'm going to connect those pictures. Button 1 is going to have the picture of the dice. Of 1 and button 2 is going to have number 2. Now they're right at the same spot. They're both at the center of the screen. So you can't see either one. So I'd like to put one up here. That's at 120.70. And I want the other one to be maybe at 250.70. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So now I have all three items on the screen. What I'd like to do is when I click on number one, it takes me to level one. And when I click on number two, it takes me to level two. So I'm going to need an if for each one of those. I'll just do the first one and then I'll copy and paste. So if the mouse is pressed over the level one ETN, then I want to change the value of this variable level, which I'll put back at the top. See how it's currently at zero? I want to change its value to one. So I'll put that right here. Let's say level equals one. And I'll copy that with Control C and Control V and do the same thing for the level two button. If mouse is pressed over two, it's going to change levels value to two. Now I can check that to make sure it's working by adding level down here or reset. So notice when I start the game, levels at zero. When I press one, it goes to one. When I press two, it goes to two, and you can even go back and forth. Okay, so that's working. So now I can make my levels based on this variable right here. I'll show you how to do that. Let's say if if level um, we need to do a double equals this time because if we did a single equals, we'd be setting setting level to one. But if we do a double equals, we're checking if level is equal to one. Well, a new level would have a background, a different background pro color probably. So we'll make level one red. And we might even put some words on the screen that say level one. And I'll make it big and I'll make it say level one. Just so I'll know where I am. I'm not going to go into all the details of... Uh, designing a whole level. So since we have our buttons at the top and we have our car in the middle, we'll put this somewhere at the bottom of the screen. Maybe 150, 300. And when I'm deciding where to put things, I always just put my mouse where I think it would look good and then I read the numbers of the X and Y position that it gives me. Okay, uh, so let's try that. Okay, well, our car disappeared, but that's still a good start. So the only thing is, see how draw sprites is up here? I just need to move it down below. Let's try that. Okay, so that worked. Uh, so since it worked, let's copy it and paste it and do the same thing for level two. We'll make level two a different color, yellow, and we want it to say level two at the bottom. Right. 
And then the only other thing you might want to do is since our game started on level zero, uh, you might want to make one of these for the level zero. And we'll just give it a plain white background. And we could even put it, uh, we could put choose a level right there. We might have to scoot it over a little bit since it's a longer the text. Choose a level one, two. And now if you're making your own game, you could add different obstacles or do whatever. But uh, those will both work.